performing a barbell reverse lunge, you're going to set up the squat rack just like you would for the normal back squat exercise. So you're going to have your J hook set up so that the bar is at shoulder height. You want your support bars to be in place as well. You just want them to be low enough that you can actually squat down without smacking into them if you can. Um, and make sure that you're good at doing a reverse lunge. So when you do reverse lunges, you want to start off with your feet at about a shoulder width wide. When you step back, ideally you would maintain that width because it's going to keep your stability. And then as you go down, you're driving the front knee forward and the back knee down. So we're not going to be leaning back on this exercise and overloading the back quad. Instead, we're keeping the torso upright in the basic case of a reverse lunge going down so the knee back knee is going down my front knee is going forward and depending on the length of your tibias it is okay your lower leg it is okay if your front knee goes a little bit in front of the toes as long as your foot is nice and flat and the weight is staying for the most part centered on that front foot okay so we're going down and allowing that back knee to reach down toward the floor it's okay if the back knee touches but we're going to be careful not to bust your kneecap open on the floor um, if you lean slightly more forward oftentimes you'll feel that more in the glute of that front leg just because you're getting a bigger stretch if you're more upright you're going to feel it a little bit more in both quads so there is some variation that you can do there as well so once your bar is set let's roll it on back into the hooks go forward you'll set the bar up so that it's across your traps so make a shelf with the traps don't lay it on your spine here that is super uncomfortable the other option is you can put a pad on the bar in order to keep uh, your spine protected. So we're in that position, stand up with the bar, walk back just slightly, that way you stay inside the safety bars. We're going to hold onto the bar and think about pulling the elbows down. Try not to overshift to the working leg. So try not to overshift in this case to the left. You want to try to keep your weight centered, send that opposite leg back, bend the knees, come up and step forward. So I would personally do all of the reps on one leg and then repeat on the opposite leg. But if for any reason you're battling fatigue or you have another reason, you are free to alternate legs. Just try to do the same number of repetitions on both sides.